What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we made it our way through... What was it called again? The Mirror Temple. That's right. It was our own creation. It was really, really dark, but um, really cool level overall. Unfortunately, a little bit frustrating not being able to go back to get some of those strawberries, but now we're going to move on to another place. Chapter 6 called Reflection. Let's begin our climb. Did you know, it is impossible to outrun your own reflection. Interesting. Is that like maybe a comment on getting ahead of yourself? Or like staying, you know, real with where you are at the moment? Either way, we got Madeline putting Theo, putting her, the team on her back. Ooh, that is a beautiful night sky. Theo, you're awake! Am I? I'm skeptical. <laughs> I had a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep, it's all coming back to me now. That actually happened. Thanks for getting us out of there. I'm glad we were in it together. I don't know if I could have done that alone. Oh, the, the power of friendship. How long was I out for? What's really going on here? What's really going on here? Clearly this isn't a normal mountain. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner. Back in the old runes, a part of me escaped from a mirror. A part I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. <laughs> I love that little tone they gave her voice there. You think the mountain made her real? Yeah. She's been haunting me the whole time. She last lashed out at Mr. Oshiro. I think she was the reason the gondola stalled out. And she was there, in the temple. Why didn't you say something? I wouldn't have gone into that temple if I knew what this mountain was capable of. I tried to stop you. You could have mentioned that your demon doppelganger was on the loose. <laughs> that is a, an important detail. Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds. I didn't even believe myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, so we got a few different routes we can take with this conversation. Thank you for believing me back there. Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Let's go with this. Thank you for believing me in... Thank you, Theo. For believing in me back there, I mean. Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. I was pretty useless stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot. Yeah, we threw you around all over the place. Honestly, I couldn't have made it without your support. Oh, we still have the other options. Let's go with... Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly? You remind me of my sister. That's adorable! <laughs> What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first. But you'd eventually love her. She's a literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool! Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. Alex is just amazing at everything. She's studying to be a civil rights lawyer. Wow, how do I remind you of her? You both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh. Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you too. Aw, how reassuring. I wish I could say the same for myself. Hmm, your sister sounds great. I really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? Also, this is, I just want to say that this is a really cool segment of dialogue where we're able to explore these different conversation paths between these two and really explore their friendship and their thought processes, etc. You're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why. That's classic Alex. I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing the mountain anyways? You're right, I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a cycle. You're preaching to the choir here. I've had many a soul-destroying day job. Work is fine, actually, I just... I'm going crazy. 
<laughs> I can't stop thinking about dumb crap that doesn't matter. Yeah, we've all gone through this before. My brain fixates on these stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is, I'm barely holding it together. I'm sorry, that's pretty rough. For what it's worth, I think everyone has a better appearance than they do what's going on internally. So, even if it may seem so, we're very rarely alone in that feeling. Can I help? You're already helping. It feels good to say it out loud. Shout out to talking about your feelings. You don't talk to anyone about it? No, not really. My mom knows I get depressed and have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink, mostly. And get mad at people on the internet. <laughs> I can see why this game speaks so well to its audience. Interesting. Um, would you mind talking about what depression is like? It sucks. Yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too. I really want to understand. We can talk about something else if you want. It's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal. But now it just feels out of reach, no matter what I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. Alright, so the, the psychiatric undertones up until this point in the game are becoming incredibly explicit now. And I appreciate the, the directness with which they're actually talking about a lot of these themes. It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. No, no. <laughs> Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought that I could... I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss, swimming in a random direction. Hoping that I find something. That's really why I'm here. At the very least, you are moving in a direction. That's better than not moving anywhere at all, right? But I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. <laughs> you're a little intense. But you are a good person. I think you're just trying to push out of that rut you're stuck in. Oh my goodness, dogs. <laughs> and that's a totally legit reason to climb the mountain. Looks like my dog lost her front seat to the uh, the recording session, but that's that's all right. Maybe that's helpful. This part of you that's haunting you, maybe she comes with the territory. <laughs> so you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you too. That's not helpful. So many dialogue options. Um, so you want to destroy this part of you? Won't that hurt you, too? If I don't, she's just going to keep bullying me. She says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She could be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. And ain't that the truth? So much of, of anxiety or, you know, depression is an, al is an altered kind of a reaction to outside stressors with kind of a, well, it varies from person to person, but 
But this idea of a twisted defense mechanism, something that was a normal response being taken to an excessive degree or becoming too frequent or being triggered too easily or whatever it may be, setting up this cycle that propels people, it's, um, it's a pretty insightful way to look at it. Honestly, who cares? She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead. The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. Just one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom. Let's see here. How about you? What brought you to the mountain? I'm just kind of bumming around, as usual. <laughs> I, st I love that look he gave when he said that. I started this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life, but I hated it. So I quit after a week and hopped a bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I can understand. I mean, if you if you set up your life to be to have this one goal that when you finally reach it there, it's not what you thought it was, and it's not the everything you had hoped it to be, you're gonna feel lost. You're gonna feel like you had been lost for so many years, where you were blindly moving towards or really very intently moving towards a particular place that wasn't where you actually now want to be. So where do you go from there, right? You feel lost. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. Everyone is so patient with me. Though I guess I am putting a lot of pressure on myself. People always think I'm comparing myself to Alex, but I swear that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm going. You said you wanted to feel lost. Maybe you should just embrace that for now. Maybe. It's a good point. Sometimes you don't always have to know exactly where you're going. I'm, I'm struggling with that sort of decision at the moment myself with what medical specialty I want to apply to. I've really, realistically only got a couple months to decide, but um, and I, I'm for for once starting to actually lean towards one particular um, specialty over the other. I've been strongly considering, but um, yeah, the the amount of stress that I, I basically impose on myself with needing to gather more information to to then think about myself and what my priorities are, etc. Apply them question whether or not the information I have is accurate, all, all that stuff. That's a lot, very stressful. Um, okay, so let's let's explore some of these other branches while we have the moment. Who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. It must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. This mountain has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives here. You ran into her too? What's her deal? <laughs> I think she's just a mean person. But she does seem pretty content living out here. Are you close to your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's just how it is. All I can do is stay positive and live a meaningful life, because that's what he would want. I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. What else did you learn from your grandpa? Man, these are such emotionally charged conversations. So much stuff. Actually, he was the one who told me about Celeste Mountain. He always said that this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. I felt like he was telling me to come here. Grandpa said that the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple like us? Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. His experience was probably less violent. Well, maybe less violent, but maybe more difficult in a different manner because everybody's problems are different. 
Although there are, of course, some underlying unities. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. Why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you needed a change so you chose to climb a mountain? <laughs> Why not do something relaxing instead? Go to Hawaii or like, take a bath. I guess I feel like I need to accomplish something. It sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it is kind of extreme. But that's how I am. I need something to challenge me. I feel that. <laughs> and I can't just do something a little bit. It's all of me or nothing. You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. <laughs> of course, because how else can you remember a moment? I thought you'd never ask. Ugh. Oh. Theo and Madeline are awesome! <laughs> I love those types of deep conversations. What an awesome intro to this chapter. Totally what I was not expecting. It's been how long in the episode now? Like, a good 15 minutes or so? And we've just been talking about our feelings, our memories, the people we care about, our struggles, our goals, right? For, for a good 15 minutes on this mountain, when I thought I'd just be jumping in, platforming again. Well, well done, Celeste. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. That's what talking about things does. Wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. Wait, really? Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. Are we really that close to the end? I'm ready to put this all behind me. <laughs> I'll be cheering you on. For what it's worth, Madeline, you say I'm ready to put this all behind me, but this climb... Everything you've experienced along this way is going to forever be with you. It's going to be an integral part of you. Every problem you overcome in the past sets you up for your, your future going forward. So it's not getting past something that's particularly difficult. It's it's learning to, to, I guess, overcome that problem and then bring what you learned from it with you. We should get some sleep. <laughs> okay. Good night, Theo. Thanks for <laughs> being cool. What can I say? It comes naturally. <laughs> That's something I would say. <laughs> Love it. Oops. One moment. Sorry about that. Yet uh, another interruption, but that's okay. I wonder if we could go in there or not. I obviously see the feather over there. We're probably gonna like be able to fly or something like that. Ooh. That's pretty neat. I see. Oh, and it looked like, um, what's it called? We regain our dash at the end of that. I love the aesthetic of this place already. How cool. Oh, do I have to dash into it? I do. That's pretty neat. I love the Aurora too. I wonder what happens if I, like, run into something. Oh, no, I just bounce off of it. That's relatively, uh, low stakes. This is so cool! Look at us just kind of, like, floating. The northern lights are so beautiful! Yeah, they are. You know what this reminds me of? For those of you that have seen, um, the movie Pokemon Destiny Deoxys, with, like, the... The Aurora, the Northern Lights, and then there's like the green and like purple Deoxys. This is what this reminds me of with the two Madelines. Where are we? We need to talk. Okay. I finally understand who you are. You're not my true reflection. I'm not? You're everything I need to leave behind. You're cruel, paranoid, controlling. Why would you say that? No, it's okay. I understand now. I don't need you anymore. So you're just abandoning me? I'm setting you free. We'll both be so much happier. You're so... So... So stupid! Yikes. Oh man! Jumping out of the text box! You think you can just leave me behind? 
You think you can blame everything on me? You think you're above me? Oh my. Answer me! This is intense. Calm down, please. Calm down? Breathe, Madeline. Use the feather. This is the anxiety, the uh... What's it called? Um... The, the controlling, the panic, taking grip of Madeline. Or attempting to, at least. But we're, we're better than that now. We have a means of, of keeping control in these types of situations. No, fall. You're going to think about a feather to stop me? Oh no, not the feather. You are not above me. And you can't climb this mountain. It's time to accept that. Are we gonna get dragged back down or what? Madeline, what's happening? Oh no! I knew we were too close to the top to be the end of the game. <laughs> Whoa, this place looks gorgeous! Oh man, we are really crashing down. Are we gonna have to make our way up all of this? Wow. Interesting. Anything of interest down here? Oh my. Does it just go in any- whatever direction I hit it? I think so. It does. Alright, well I want to explore over- what's over this way briefly before we go up any further. Anything over here? No. <laughs> I was too curious. Alright, well, up we go. Oh, it's not gonna come with me? Aw, ending this way. Will these kill me? Probably, that's why they're all over the place and I'm probably gonna have to avoid them by going up here. Avoid them, he says. Okay. And then the question is where I can probably climb. Is there anything over there? Doesn't look like it. How about over this way? Man, the, the nature, the greenery and everything so neat looking, all the bright colors, and the music, so serene. I'm pretty sure it like only controls in terms of... Oh no, you, you can move forward with the up button as well. That's worth noting. So, can I climb on this first? I can. Gotcha. No! No! Oh, I knew it would start me down here. Huh? What did I bounce off of? Alright, so we're obviously gonna have to do th that first. I thought I'd bounce on top of the, the, the thwomp, which is what they will be known as from here on out. Okay, and then while that is going right now... Darn. I did not anticipate how fast that would move. Oh, you know what? I probably gotta do this by going over here and then doing like that. I'm sure there's got to be a way to send that up that way, though. I wonder if that can break that or not. Maybe. Maybe not. Will the water affect the, uh... Doesn't look like it. The, the trajectory of the feather and everything. We live in. 
Man, those things move decently quickly, so it's going to be tough to kind of analyze environments as I'm moving through them with the feather to see where strawberries are. Although I haven't seen a strawberry yet, but who knows. For some reason, I keep thinking they're like, kind of like tank controls, like you take the perspective of the feather and you just move left or right. But it really is just kind of a control wherever. Ah, oh. you just tell it where to go on screen. Aw, oh, man. I knew that was too aggressive of an angle. <laughs> I got the feather and died immediately after. Ooh, that was probably not the best choice. But it made it a lot closer that time, so I guess that's still progress. Oh, I thought I died. Come on. Nice. Okay, so we could break that. Darn. I was not quick enough. What? I thought I... Oh, I see what I needed to do now. There we go. Anything to the side here? I feel like that would be where a secret is hidden. But alas, there was none. That I discovered, at least. I love that the music gets all, like, muffled during the, um, watery segments. So where do we want to go first? To the left or to the right? Do we even have much of a choice? Yeah, looks like we can very much go up this way, should we want to. I wonder if I can break that as well. Aw, oh, really? Actually, you know what, this, this looks a little bit simpler at the moment, so let's just go over this way. What's going on over here? I was so close. It's over now. Why won't she leave me alone? I hate her. But she's part of me. I'll never be able to get rid of her. And she was right. I couldn't climb the mountain. But you still can. No secrets over here, just the dialogue. Which is a treat in and of itself, so it's not like I'm acting like that was, you know, there was nothing to be gained by going over there, just, just gotta be safe, you know, about all these secrets and everything, so. Let's see here. Wait, no, I completely missed. Oh man, that was a fail. Let's see here. Okay, so it can break them. And I see something over there. Alright, now let's try this again. Oh. I probably should have jumped off. Oh. Hmm. Looks like maybe I won't be able to really make too much of that then. Alright, well, we'll head down, I guess. Question is, how far can I really even get with this? Because it doesn't seem like I'm getting all that much further. It doesn't look like I can really... And that wasn't an area I could go to either. Um, maybe... All I can think of is... Hmm. 
No, I don't know. Just going up here. Then where do I go? There's gotta be something. It is also worth noting, though, that I did at the very least learn where, like, how to find some of the secrets slash collectibles in this area. Come on! Nice! Now the question is, is this where I'm supposed to go? Or is this a collectible? <laughs> Just the, uh, Celeste things, right? Okay. So I can pretty safely say that that was the, uh, the collectible. Pro or this is probably the collectible area, although there was an arrow. There was an arrow telling me to go up. Can I even go to the right here? I can. But I don't know if it's going to lead to a collectible or not. Ugh. Oh well. We'll, I guess, just try to make it work with what we have. Let's see what's up here. This looks a little bit more hidden, so maybe this this is giving me collectible vibes. What is... What's going on here? I have no idea what's going on here. This is clearly some sort of hidden room or whatever. So... What are these symbols? It's like... Huh. The, the sound changes. And I feel like these are telling me some sort of a direction to go, like, right. I don't really know, though. This is probably something I'm not going to figure out in this moment. I really wish I knew, though. Because there's, like, the spotlight following, too. I'm not seeing these lights change either as I do the different dashes. So there's clearly some sort of secret there, but I'm just not, I, I don't know what it is, nor do I think I'll figure it out anytime soon, unfortunately. It is pretty cool though, but now we must fall. And head back up. I'll take my bet on this. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Keep going up, I guess. Oh, or not. Is there really not a way up? Or do I just need to break it and I'm not doing that no it doesn't seem so all right I'm fairly confident I'm missing out on quite a bit of secret stuff here which is admittedly quite disappointing but we'll we'll continue on with the game what do we have going on here anything up here of interest no it doesn't seem so how about over here can I go up this little stream here? Nope. Okay. So it looks like I'm gonna need to go to the right. Is there anything down here? Oh, I thought that was a platform, but it was the background. My bad.
Okay. Yep, that was, um... I am not going to survive this. So, we'll do that. Duck, and then what? Oh, it can only work on that side. Interesting. So it's only able to, I guess, respond on the sides of the, the box that have the blue, which makes sense. It does. It's probably something I should have observed earlier, but um, it's okay. Okay. So the question is, how do I get on the other side? Actually, no, I've got an idea. I just need to be a little bit more patient. Okay. No, 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 no. I thought I <clears throat> had made my way off of the thwomp. Okay. I'm sure there's some sort of secret I, I missed over there, but that's okay. Kind of. Got another one of those guys. Oh. I see how that goes. I can just take the long way around. It'll be fine. I thought I'd have to get on the other side of the platform, or the thwomp, but I'll actually probably be fine on the, uh, the right side of him. So I'll just stick to that for now. Oh, I really needed to take advantage of that Abrupt stop. Alright, and down. Over we go. Cool. I feel like there's something up there, but maybe not. Ooh, the music changed. We're getting into some real deal stuff now. Wait, a strawberry! Oh wait, no, that was just a feather. Do I go that way, or do I go this way? I don't know! Oh man, I hate that I'm gonna have to... Well, I, I'll still see. I still have yet to see how replaying most of this will go. So what I'm gonna need to do is this... Aw, oh, really? I'm gonna say, I'll, I'll need to propel myself. Then we can do this... And we made it. Wow, that was a little bit you know, tighter of a turn than I would have liked. Oh, and now we don't have the option of going the other way. Because the wall closed behind me. Lovely. Just lovely. Is that an enemy? Probably. Oh. Hmm. The question is... Am I supposed to go that way, or is there is that kind of like the the way out if you're not able to make it to some other aspect of the level? Because I could go this way, or... Man... Alright, well, we're gonna go with this. I wonder, I actually want to see if this will give me back my... my uh... Oh, it will! That's good to know. Um, ooh, do I go up? I feel like that's the, the easy way out. Wait, no. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know which way to go again. Um, let's see here. Okay, making progress. Can I break through that? I can. And what does that do for me? Nothing, it seems. Can I break through here? No, break through here, probably. I see. So which path do I want to take? Ugh. I don't know, guys. Too many paths. Too many- oh man, I'm dead. I was like, huh, I wonder how I'm supposed to do this, and then they all- I'm dead. 
Ooh, this looks like it'll be uh, pretty difficult. Cool. I think the amount of time, the amount of hang time these bumpers give you provides you with enough time to really settle down in the air with your double jump and then re-land really on the same one should things go, well, not as you intend. Let's see here. I feel like... Oh my. So that was probably not the um, intended way of going about it. Oh, oh, I still carry my feather into the next screen. That's... That's pretty cool. And also, I'm just realizing now that this has been going on for a decent amount of time. So I'm probably going to say we'll continue this, I don't know, jewel area, the bright green area in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The beginning of this episode was really awesome. I love the reflection that was done between or with Madeline and Theo about everything going on. They're so close to the summit and then the encounter with uh, the other part of ourselves, the dark part of ourselves that pushes us back down here and we've obviously got quite a bit more to climb which is both a good and a bad thing but um i hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode but until then this has been night zero and this mission is complete <laughs>